Are you from Texas? I, I've lived in the US. Yeah, I'm a famous YouTuber. Welcome and welcome back to my channel guys. This is Pebbles Chat. How are you guys doing? Reaction must continue and I am here to react today. Don't mind me um, posting, you know, videos of my trip in between reactions and I have to do that because there's something that I notice that when I post videos of my trip, no one watches it. Just maybe a few people not a lot of people i don't get a lot of views and i can tell you why i don't get a lot of views because people love drama they love drama and travel videos unless there is something s-e-x-u-a-l or drama is in there I am not gonna get a lot of views so I have to do reactions in between because this is what you guys like to see and hear okay <laughs> where do I start let's start with Joyce's oh my goodness remember that video I did on Joyce's that got over 20,000 views unfortunately I was not monetized at the time so i made zero money from that okay so now joyce's has come out to speak her truth answering a lot of questions that are up in the air that people have been speculating people have been asking and um she said she is not holding back but i do believe that she is still holding back a little bit I have not seen a part two yet. I think hopefully, she will have part two before I post this video. And I will be able to include some of part two. But let's go through what she said. Joyce said she was invited to the Marwa's house, meaning Marwa's mom, Marwa's parents' house yes she was invited um she they asked her to stay and 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 uh she decided to stay but i have this question um so okay so she did not need an invitation or an invite to go to um the yabahanze village she did not at all um the Yabahanza village does not belong to the Marwas, so she was free to go there. But what I don't understand is how can you go to somewhere new and you didn't book a room for yourself? That is the part that is puzzling to me that she did not book a room or book a an Airbnb, or maybe she did and she canceled it when the ma was asked her to stay. Now, for me, if I'm traveling somewhere, especially somewhere that I am not familiar with and somewhere where I do not have family members living, I am going to reserve my Airbnb before I arrive. And if I visit a family member and they ask me to stay with them, I will politely tell them no, because I have already reserved my accommodations and i don't think my family will get upset for that and even if i decide to cancel my accommodations and the accommodations that my family or friend is offering me is not up to par with what i am accustomed to i am going to leave i will tell them that i am just not comfortable and i will leave and go and stay in my accommodations so Joyce has said she was not comfortable at the Marwa's house, even though, um, you know, she did not have her own room. And I am assuming a lot of people see these huge homes on camera and they assume that these homes have a luxury inside and they do not. So I guess Joyce was shocked because she assumed that this huge mansion multi-million mansion that they brag about has lots and lots of rooms and she would have been able to get a room for herself and that didn't happen she had to share room with the house help and she emphasized that this house help 
worked a lot like she didn't use the word slave but may as well she did she mentioned that this house help worked a lot and um, she was dirty and sweaty all the time and coming in and out of the room and that made her extremely uncomfortable but she emphasized how hard this young young house helped work and she emphasized on that why do you think she emphasized on that or mentioned that part because honestly she didn't have to mention that she worked a lot and she was sweaty all she had to say was she was uncomfortable because she had to share a room with the house help we didn't need to know that she is young and how hard she slaved yeah so she spoke about that and then the other thing she spoke about um is someone asked if she paid them anything and she said she didn't have to which i agree with that if someone invites me into their home i don't have to pay them however i can tell you this is what i do even when i stay with my family when i am leaving I leave something for them. They don't ask me to, and they will look at me and be like, no, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? No, don't do this. I don't need this. And this is what I tell her. Please put this in my nephew's account. Yes, that's what I will do. And we do, and she does the same thing to me. Last time she stayed at my house, she leave a note and money in my drawer to say thank you for accommodating me use this to buy yourself something and that is what people do no one should have to tell you just leave a couple dollars I don't know if she did that she didn't say she did that I think if she did she would have told us but Joyce this is what you do when you stay with people even if they say no thank you just leave it and, and a note or something to say thank you for accommodating me she also spoke about um, why they no longer communicate. And I want to touch on that. They no longer communicate because she said, um, I'm always mom, uh, what's her name? Congrats mom reached out to her and she didn't see the call or she forgot. And by the time she reached back out to her, Congrats mom decided not to answer. Okay, so if we are friends, and she claimed that Congress mom is her best friend, I don't take days to return my best friend's call. So Congress mom has all right to not respond after you reach out to her a couple days later. Unless something is wrong with you and you, you know, you reach out and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I was going through a lot, I could not respond at that time then I would understand, or I was sick or something like that. But if you just decided, you know what, I'm not gonna respond to this person, I don't have time right now, and then days later you're responding to me, I'm a cold person at times. So yes, I will cut you off. And she reached out to Mawa to ask Mawa to, to let Congrats mom know that she's trying to reach her, and Mawa didn't respond. And we all know that Mawa doesn't care once you leave that village. That is it for you. You saw what happened to Jamaican grandma. No one knew that she died. The only reason why they found out is when Burundian travel ran out of money to build his house, and he wanted her to send him money, so he reached out to her, and that's how he found out that she had passed away. So what did she expect? They don't care. No one reached out to her after. No one reached out to her after she uh, mentioned the assault that happened in Yabanze village. Why would they reach out to her? I would not have reached out to her. There's no reason to reach out to her. For what? If she had an issue, she should have mentioned it while she was in the village. Also, it did not happen in their house. They are not obligated to reach out to her and they were no longer friends. So why at this time would they reach out to her? No, I would not reach out to her. Plus there were a lot of things floating around that may have caused them not to reach out to her. The post on Instagram where, you know, people assumed and people meaning myself as well, assumed that she was talking about the Mawas, right? 
Okay, so she said it was not about them. However, that went on for almost two weeks and she never came out and say. When people started speculating and assuming, if I cared about the Mawa so much or I cared about the mom who is my friend, I would have come out on Instagram and said, this post has nothing to do with Yabahanza village or the Mawas. This or this post has nothing to do with the Marwas. That's what I would have done. But she was silent. And silence means something sometimes. And maybe to them, they wanted her to defend the post and she didn't. So that's perhaps one of the reasons why they did not reach out to her after. That's exactly why they didn't reach out to her after when she mentioned the essay. I would not reach out to her either. I'm just being honest. I am just being honest. I would have no reason to reach out to her as long as it did not happen in my house. We are no longer friends. What am I going to reach out to you for? To say what? What are we going to say to each other about that? So no, I would not reach out to her. I didn't blame them for that. Another thing, um, that she mentioned i'm trying to figure out some of the other things that she mentioned in that video i think that was it i think that was it but yeah i feel like she's really holding back uh you know she spoke about how uncomfortable she was in that house and she emphasized on the young girl that they hired to work and how hard she worked and how sweaty and dirty she was um she wants to say more but she's holding back in all she says that her experience was not bad except for the assault um, and um, that was it I am waiting for part two to continue and I will drop part two in here somewhere okay so I watched part two it's nothing to write home about it's basically a repeat of some of the the same questions from part one she did explain why she didn't tell anyone about um the sa and i completely understand her point from there and and believe what she said on that okay so that's it guys she really didn't say much in part two but apparently her and the borrowers are no longer friends and it will only be a matter of time before Joyce comes out and say a lot more than she is saying right now. I can tell you this. She is probably not saying a lot because she does not want um, the mom, Congrats mom, to get upset or to make her feel bad. But if Marwa just comes out and say anything bad about her, she is going to say something. There was one thing she mentioned that Marwa and Mayugno laughed at her. And they wanted her to leave and they made a whole video laughing at her and that was horrible and it was the first time that I've seen that video. For my life, this woman said to me, please don't do that. Because if you do that, the people on YouTube will assume that something happened and they will be saying bad things about us. You understand? And when she said that, I understood what she meant. So when she asked me to stay, I decided to stay. So I don't know why they were complaining. And it really, really made me feel bad when I saw a video of Marwa and Mayugno talking about how I, they didn't mention, they didn't mention my name directly, but I knew they were talking to me, that I overstayed my welcome, and some visitors can come, and they overstayed. Yeah, to stay, to stay, coming, coming. Yeah. to stay, we are not a visitor, yeah, yeah. coming, because we are a special, when you God, we change our life, we are special to a God we use. To change another people's life, yeah. life. So when someone so already come on the seat here, no, he needs to come. Yeah, and he needs to come yeah. to allow others to come. come yes, yes. actually that's yeah. what we want, guys. Yeah. Please don't come to stay live. Yes, go. come to get, to get your blessing. Yes, visit us. Yes, we still have the in my India. Now you are going to imagine. <laughs> Are you going to say, please don't even eat our 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 left uh, maize? Maize. That is the only one left, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to say you can you can plant maize and and because the visitor does not want to leave, you harvest with him. Yes. But all we are trying to say is this, guys. Please, when you come, come oh, and we yeah. help you as much as we can. Yes. And you will be happy. Yes. Because we know tomorrow we are special. This is what brought all those you know negative negativity. People assuming that. I was leeching on them and I was broke and I, yes, I know I said it that. I oh, and here are these people criticizing us for laughing at the Marwas, for talking about the Marwas, but look at Marwa and Mayukno who spoke so badly about a female, you know? And some of Marwa's um, 
loyal subscribers they like to talk about we like to bring females down look at how mawa and mayugno laughed at this grown female they wanted her out of the house all they had to do was tell her that she should leave a simple but no they didn't and they rant on about how you should only come and spend a few days and leave but look at jamaican grandpa or jamaican uncle look at jamaican uncle that man is there going bankrupt they didn't want joyce there because joyce was not spending money that's all this is about marwa is all about money jamaican grandpa is spending his life savings he is getting money wired from america to help marwa he purchased he purchased he they now have um electricity i am sure that he was the one who purchased the solar panels if he was not there marwa would still be begging he would not have gotten the solar panels mara must have cried to that man day in day out day in day out and that man has a soft heart that's what you have to understand about jamaicans they will give 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 my mother used to give away every single thing i bought her i remember purchasing my mom some shoes and she wore one of them to town and someone begged her the shoe off her feet and she took that shoe off she took that shoe off her feet gave it to this woman and walked home without shoes i kid you not and i cried i cried when i heard the story but that's how jamaicans are they are kind and giving people and that's why marwa is taking advantage of jamaican uncle and taking him to the cleaners yeah that's what he's doing to jamaican uncle why he doesn't care how long Jamaican uncle stays there because guess what he is also going to convince Jamaican uncle to purchase land in his name they're probably there looking for land as we speak so he can have more land Jamaican uncle Jamaican grandma Jamaican papa Jamaican this every Jamaican who comes there will end up purchasing land in Marwa's name this is what he does. I don't care how much you guys want to sit here and take up for Marwa. He is greedy and he takes people to the cleaners. So if he doesn't want someone to stay longer than two weeks, why is Jamaican grandpa staying there for a month? Tell me why. This man has now become Rocio's cook, housekeeper, errand boy, and their ATM machine. <laughs> guys i can't i can't this is hilarious i can't and for those of you who are talking about we are sitting on our couch and not working and we're sitting on our couch just making videos and how hard marwa had to work to get where he's at right now please give me a break marwa used to be <laughs> do you want guys want me to post the videos of marwa and how he became who he is right now guys i'm right here in bogota and i'm meeting some beautiful ladies from bogota i'm gonna introduce you to them and they're really nice they want to talk to you and let's listen to them okay so guys we are in bogota colombia this place is called hermando records a lot of queue, you can see that queue right there, like, um, yeah, a lot of people in the line. I'm told it's one of the best clubs in Bogota, so when you're here, maybe you should check it, okay? Yeah, and you can see the road, that's my environment right there. And also, yeah, that's the, like the 360. Come on, Marwa used to be all over the world, okay? These are the videos. You like it, Hey, hey, I'm so drunk. How about Guero? I don't know, my friend. It's, it's, no, it's not me. Bueno. I'm in Tancuardo here. Excuse me, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. Okay, can I get it? I think I got it. I'm drunk. I'm in.
saw the videos. He slept around and kissed and I mean it was disgusting some of the videos that he used to post but you guys are here sitting and judging other people when Mawa used to be a passport bro okay that's how he built himself that's how he built his YouTube channel by being a passport bro going out getting drunk and sleeping around like a little hot dog in heat and here he was bragging about he does not tell women what he does for a living or who he is Jumapel Marwa <laughs> you know I'm a sweet guy but you, you keep pushing me away so I'm trying to to make a girl fall in love with me I do need some videos what's one of my followers You seem like the girl I could take to my mama. I do. But I guess we have to change the story where we met. Tell my mama I met you when you're heading to the church with a Bible in your hand. Look at these clips. Everywhere he goes, he tells women he is a big YouTuber. And this girl doesn't even look like she's at legal age. I think she's about $10 per night. Well, he said it was a hotel that was $10. But I think she looks like a $10 girl from Tinder. And she ended up robbing him, apparently. Even though he was telling the world that she's his friend. She is not his friend. He just met her. A random, random girl. Yes, this is how he lived his life. That's how he got Rosio. Give me a break. Mawa is no different from anyone else. He did not build his channel just sitting there being the good guy, giving a dollar here, giving a dollar there to young kids and then having people send him a hundred dollars in return because of his one dollar kindness. He did not. He was a passport bro, kissing every Sue, Mary, everyone you could think about. His tongue was down their throat. And he offered them all the anaconda, or the big black tiger, as he called it. The videos are there. Go back and look. Millions of views. That's how he built his channel. Why do you think D is in Jamaica skinning out? Because that's how they build their channel. On drama. If there is no drama and SEX, no one will watch. I post videos of my trip in the Bahamas and hardly anyone view those those videos because guess what there is no drama in those videos there is no sex in those videos I am not there skinning out and acting like a hoodlum hood rat that's why no one view those videos okay so now on to Jamaica and um, D and her best friend Remember, guys, when Dee said she doesn't have any friends, she only has one friend or two friends of the Kino, Christmas List, and Aaron Dante, three friends. So she says she has no woman friends. And a week later, 
This girl popped up and suddenly she is Dee's best friend out of the blue. So Dee, did you lie to us to tell us that you had no friends? How did this girl just pop up out of the blue? Who called who? Do you guys think her best friend, what's her name, Sean? Did you think she was the one who reached out to Dee to see if she can do a collabo because apparently Dee has more followers than her. Dee has the connect in Jamaica and her aim was to go to Jamaica and she needed a connect. I guess she's not like AT who traveled by herself. She needed a connect and I guess she needed more subscribers as well. So she probably reached out to Dee. I don't know, but it was sudden. This best friendship thing was so sudden. Yes, 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 guys. It was sudden. So, so after I rewatched this video, I realized that maybe have, I was being one-sided. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just that after Dee said she had no friends and she popped up out of nowhere, I'm wondering who reached out to who. But perhaps Dee reached out to this girl because she's popular in Africa. And Dee, you know, needed to be in the know because she's trying to be in the know. But who knows? I don't know. And then this girl needed the Jamaican audience as well. And the, it's a win-win situation on both parties. And immediately after they became friends that's when d changed into this oh i want this i want a rich man i want this lifestyle i am going to five a fly business class only yada 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 why do you think d came up with this whole new persona whole new story and switched from the little village girl down to earth yada 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 because of this girl was training her how to catch a man <laughs> This girl is training D how to catch a man and that's when D changed. They had a conversation and this girl sat down and told her how she met her husband, how she used to go out there to search for wealthy men. And you know, I had all those clips and uh, about a month ago, I was gonna post them or two weeks ago, I think. I had all those clips of her talking about how she met her husband and the other reactors didn't lie they did not lie one bit it's there on her channel and she doesn't care if people knows how she met her husband she was the aggressor she went to dubai to look for a man and there is nothing wrong with that if a girl want to elevate herself and she feels that going to you know heading out to search for a rich man will elevate her then go right ahead but apparently she was not really i don't think she was looking for another african they, they these girls go to dubai thinking the arabs will want them but the arabs don't want black women they do not they will sleep with you behind closed doors but no one will ever see you with them because they will be too embarrassed so she ended up finding a nigerian or somebody from africa who has money and she talked about it. She did not hide it. So what the other reactors are saying, they may be harsh or whatever in some of the words they use, but it's not far from it. I am sorry. It's not far from it. And I just want you to know that having a wealthy man does not equal happiness. It does not, my dear. I am telling you, it does not. Having your own money equal ha equals happiness. Your own money. I am not saying you should go out there and find yourself some broke guy who can't help himself, but trying to specifically hunt for a wealthy man, <laughs> my dear, that will not bring you happiness. I a lot of these women out there just uh, specifically seeking out extremely wealthy men, they are in loveless business transaction marriages. And many of them say, oh, I would rather cry in a Mercedes than laugh on a bicycle. But guess what? I've observed enough women crying in Mercedes to know that that woman on that bicycle laughing her ass off is far more happier. And listen, I'm in no way trying to put these girls down, okay? It's their life. If they want to marry Christmas Santa Claus it up, it is their life. But don't come for reactors when they talk about it. Because if it's out there on the streets, you're putting it, putting it out there on the streets, they're going to talk about it. Certain things you keep to yourself. For example, how you met your husband. If you approach him and you trap him, you don't talk about it on the internet. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Love you. Like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.